up, everybody, and welcome back to the Sports Prodigies podcast with your hosts. I'm Aiden. And I'm Jeremy. And today we are honored to bring on San Jose State wide receiver Trey Walker to the podcast. Say what's up, Trey. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? What's going on? What you been doing during quarantine? Man, I've just been working on myself, my family, just trying to be a better person. Uh, when I can, going from San Jose to L.A. just to get some work in, so I'm just chilling. It's nice to hear. Yeah, we hope that your family and friends are obviously safe during this time. Yeah, appreciate that. It's a weird time with everything yeah. going on, but um, I think we'll bounce back. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So, Trey, uh, how has the pandemic affected your off-season training? And also, when do you expect to get back to San Jose State? Well, I think everyone is expecting to get back uh, around this time, around June, July. Uh, for for us, I'm thinking um, maybe around on July 8th we'll report back. But um, the pandemic has it really hasn't affected anything. Um, this is my time to be selfish. That's how I look at it. I don't have to... Uh, worry about the team I can just worry about myself and just be selfish and just work on the things I need to work on so I'm I'm a appreciative of this time to just work on myself um if you know you know there's other guys out there that's working for me I want to be the best so I got to work every day yeah is that like a set date to report back or is that fluctuating based on the uh for that's when our coaches want to see it back, so we kind of don't even have a real set date. But July eighth is the date we will like to report back. So like the target date. Yeah, like the target date. Yeah. Uh, Trey, so you're in California right now, so like I feel like every state has a different like where they're at right now. So like, how bad is it in California right now? Well, in San Jose, it's not too bad. I mean, we never really had like a a panic to where. You know, lines were long to go get toilet paper and paper towels and stuff like that. So, in San Jose, it was good. When I got to L.A., it was a diff- different kind of atmosphere. Things way more structured and a lot of more restrictions. So, um, I don't really think it's too bad down here in California. How is it up where you guys are at? Yeah, yeah. So I live in New York, so it's actually pretty bad here. I feel like it's gotten a lot better, but, like, for weeks on end, like – and still people, like, obviously wearing masks, doing the right things. But I don't know, like, my school was shut down for the rest of the year. I feel like all the states were. But I've been home for the last, like, 12, 11 weeks. So I hope. Yeah, that, it, it's crazy that what's going on. Like, nobody's never seen anything like it. Um, obviously, you just hope to for everything to go back to normal so everybody can just go back to their day-to-day life. Yeah. In Florida, like, not – not a lot of stuff shut – like, it shut down for, like, a little bit of time, then opened up, stack up. Was a lot – did a lot of stuff shut down in California? Um, well, they shut them down. But, I mean, you still can go get food. Like, no movies, yeah. no malls, no beaches, obviously. It were the uh, l- large gatherings. But um, it wasn't like we had curfew. Like, nobody was out. Um, they did clean a lot of the stuff. But pretty much California just stayed the same. They just closed everything down and – keep people away yeah now pandemic aside who would you say your game is most similar to in the nfl today uh man i don't really i kind of got that kobe jordan thing to me where i don't really want to compare myself to anyone i want to be better than everyone so like i mean i just take pieces of everyone's game but if i had to choose someone i'll say juice landry Cause he a dog, Jarvis Landry. He yeah, he a dog. Um, I just like his game. When I watch him, I kind of see a lot of myself lined up in the slot and outside. So not too big, but play big. So yeah, I, I say Jarvis Landry. Yeah, that's great. Jarvis is a great player. Um, but obviously, you have multiple players in your game. Right. Uh, I understand that. So you're going back for your senior year at San Jose State after coming off a pretty big year in your junior year. So what's your biggest goal going into that senior year? Uh, since I got to San Jose, we've been like a subpar team. We haven't got a lot of respect. So um, for going into my senior year, I just want I just want San Jose to be respected in all conferences. Um, 
I think last year we we were really a good football team, but we made some some uh, bonehead plays in the fourth quarter that lost us some games. But um, I think I, for my senior season, I just want to be one of the best teams in the in the country. Uh, uh, last year, offensively, we was one of the best teams, but this year, I just want to put it all together so we can um, be like the best team in the Mountain West. Um, I just want to win my senior season. I really, that's just my only goal to win. Yeah, that's great. All you want to win. Um, what's the feeling like to know that you led the Mountain West Conference in receiving yards and yards per game last year, and you only did it in 10 games? Well, um, my boy behind me, Warren, Warren uh, from uh, Colorado State, only played 10 games too, and I barely got him but like a like two yards or yards. So um, it, it was it was good to see, like, both of us competing. You know, I, after a game, I'll go check his stats and see where he was at. It, it wasn't really a goal of mine, but it was um, it was just fun to see the numbers that I was putting up. Yeah, just a little competition with the <laughs> Yeah, with my boys, players. you know. Just uh, I have more yards than you, just a little bragging rights. <laughs> uh, so, Trey. Uh, what do you think your best skill is on the football field? Um, reading defenses, hurrying, like just having that eye. If I'm gonna get the safety over here, or if um I'm gonna get this cover two corner, or if they're playing two man, or if the safety's about to rotate, just being able to identify what's about to go on on the field. Um, obviously I got great hands, but um, uh, I think being able to identify what type of defense a defense is going to be in. It's probably my best skill in the football field. Yeah, it's a great skill to have, great football IQ. I mean, for any sport, you just want to have the best IQ. Right. Um. So, do you think this season upcoming, you need to, needs to happen for you to take the next step to the NFL? Of course. Like, um. I feel like this year is my, my growth year to just put everything together and just try to have the most dominant season. Prove to those scouts um, what I can do. Was it ever in consideration after this year that you were going to go? Or no. you were always coming back for your senior year? Yeah, I was coming back for my senior year. My mom, is a, she's big on me about graduating. So it, it never crossed my mind to leave, even if I was a high pick. Um, I wanted to get the degree for her. That's amazing. Uh, how hard has it uh, been to balance football and school while in college? Ah, super hard. I mean, I think that's the hardest part, considering like how much time people want to work out and stuff like that. Like for me, like after practice, I want to go to class and go right back to working out. And then you know you kind of exhausted. You kind of feel like studying. So um, I think it's just about what you want to do in life, man. If my priority is football, so I priority football over anything. So um, it's definitely hard, but um, I manage it pretty well. Yeah, so, like, when you guys go on the road, like, do you do homework, like, on the plane or, or on road trip? Oh, or? I try to – throughout the week, I plan accordingly. So um, if we got a um, away game, I try to knock out everything so I can just focus on – the game so I can just study more and see what type of coverage the defense is going to be in, what corners going to line up on me, stuff like that. Uh, I try to knock all the homework as possible. Yeah. Um, obviously, Josh Love graduated this year, and he's now with the Rams. So how big of an effect do you think it's going to be this season to, to transition with a new quarterback? But also, since the pandemic, you might not have as much field time with – um, I, me and Josh had a a unique connection, but um, it's a it's a lot of the guys out there that I have a unique connection to. I don't, I think um, it's just about how bad you want it, man. Me and my quarterbacks, we we talk pretty much every other day, so uh, it's go time. As soon as we get a field or some grass, we're gonna throw. We take advantage of any time we got, uh, any field we got, we're gonna go throw and just hopefully build some type of chemistry leading up. Um, but that's just for me. For the rest of the guys, well, we're trying to figure something out so we can, like, 
just throw and get that chemistry. I, I don't think it will be too hard because um, we don't really have a new quarterback, but Nick Stark going, he's fantastic. So um, once he gets back down, we'll probably find the field and just throw. I don't think it will be too hard. But Josh was a a hell of a leader and was part of my success last year, a key part of my success last year. Uh, Trey, so the last question that we got today is, what do you want people to know about Trey Walker that they might not know already? I just want people to know I'm a dog on the field, man. I really love the game. Uh, I don't play the game for nothing else. I just want to win. Any team I go to, I just want to bring joy and happiness to those cities, man. Uh, football is something I love doing and I hope you want to do for a long time. And that's pretty much it. That's great. Uh, Trey, we wanted to thank you for coming on the podcast. It means a lot that you came on. Yeah, appreciate you for having me, man. Yeah, of Thank course. y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed day and be safe out here in these streets. Thank you. Uh, right. That's it for today. Uh, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe this video. If you're on Spotify, um, go follow our account, D Sports Prodigies. Uh, signing off for today, your host, I'm Aiden. And I'm going to have a good day. Thank you.